welcome to www.smartkidproject.com now in the previous lecture i mean in the previous video we have seen that how to do drilling for the pcb so this is a complete so drilled pcb in front of you where you can see the small holes that we have drilled this should look completely like this when we have uh, uh, removed a print out of the exact replica of this pcb like uh, on which we will uh, attach the component as you can see this over here is a replica of this i mean here we will place the ic base that is 40 pin so you can see here this is a 40 pin uh, diagram this will be i mean uh, different for all the different projects for this project this is a replica that we have made if you buy a self uh, learning kit from www.smartkitproject.com for any project you buy you will get the different uh, the sheet here and it will be a complete replica of the PCB drilled board so that you can easily attach by looking into this you can easily uh, solder the components so here you can see this is a uh, another IC driver uh, uh, design that we have given you so here it is a place Solder the IC driver. Okay, so we will see how to do the soldering. So we will start with soldering first the main 40 pin IC driver. As you can see, for this we basically need a soldering soldering iron, PCB board, the components. Uh, the uh, metallic coil and the stripper to remove the wire and the plugs so we will just start soldering we have just placed the IC driver as you can see on the diagram so this will match here ok so we will start the process of soldering we have just uh, we, why we have uh, attached the IC driver over here is uh, in the uh, real case scenario when we put an IC we will uh, like we will have to remove IC for doing the programming again and again so for the best practices we have just placed an IC driver here so you can re uh, place the IC and remove it for uh, coding purpose so as you can see there is a th uh, steel uh, part which is coming out of the drilled, uh, drilled holes so we will just solder this technique is just place the uh, soldering iron and take a metallic coil and burn a little and just leave it it will solder that part just uh, like push a little the metallic coil towards the iron rod iron rod for the first time it's not necessary that you get like this this is done by a professional uh, I mean a professional engineer so it's looking like this so don't worry if you don't get the exact picture like this but it should be like some more good keep trying for two if you try for two or three times I mean you will be very uh, happy that for doing this with a type of
now, for suppose, for an example, if uh, something like this happens, I mean, the iron melts and it comes into your board, you can just remove it from the remove board. Okay, so we have done the soldering completely. So this is how it looks after the soldering. Don't worry about this. Uh, the spreaded molten iron over here. So that doesn't make any sense. Now uh, this has been done completely. Now we'll again shoulder the IC driver over here. Now in this uh, we are now shouldering the capacitor. Now you can see the extra part which is I mean this part. So we have we'll have to remove this. So how to remove it? Just by plucking from a uh, from a just by plugging it, I mean just by let me get you the video. So now this uh, capacitor has been shouldered. Now we'll shoulder another part from matching from the diagram which is here. Now as you can see we have completed the process of soldering. Now you can see you can compare it, this will be the exact replica for this picture. Here we have placed the capacitor as shown in the picture, uh, this IC driver in the middle and all these you can compare. So this will be done after shouldering. You can see the back side also and the front side. So this will be different for every project that we will give you if you will buy our kit. And we will try to provide you if we can like for free also and so thank you for watching the video i'm warm welcome from www.smartkitproject.com thank you